This stitch pattern is seriously so easy, you wouldn't think it while looking at it because it looks so detailed, but it's actually a two row repeat pattern. If you're already familiar with working around front posts, this will be super easy. This is the arrow stitch. Get started by chaining a multiple of six plus three. For row one, starting in the third chain from hook, work a double crochet. So there's your double crochet, and also note that our chain three right here counts as a double crochet. So now I'm going to work four more double crochets into the next four chains. So that should leave me with a total of five double crochets and a six counting the chain three that we started with. A good thing to know about the arrow stitch pattern is that it's separated into sections of five stitches with six stitches on either end. So since this is our beginning end, there will be six stitches over here and that includes the chain three that we started with. And then in the middle, there will be sections of five. So now we've worked five double crochet. So we have six, including that chain three. I'm going to chain one, skip a stitch, and in the following stitch, work another double crochet. So this will be a section of five. So there's one double crochet. I'm going to work four more double crochets into the next four chains for a total of five double crochets. So there's five double crochet right there. Now we're going to chain one, skip one chain, and in the following chain, work a double crochet. Now if you have a longer chain than mine that you're beginning with, you will work another uh, section of five here, but this is the end for me. So I'm going to work six double crochet. I have six chains remaining. So there is six double crochets there, and this is the end of my row one. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Row two is super easy. We're going to be doing a similar thing, but with single crochets. So starting in the first stitch, I'm going to work a single crochet, and I'm going to single crochet into the next five stitches for a total of six single crochets. Because remember, we have six stitches on either end, and then sections of five in the middle. So there are six single crochet. I've come to this chain one gap. So I'm going to chain one and keep that gap going, skip that chain one, and then start working into that next double crochet. I'm going to single crochet into these next five double crochet. So there's my five double crochet. I'm going to chain one, skip over this chain one gap, and then start working into the next double crochet. So this is my end, so there's six double crochet over here, and I'm going to single crochet into each one for a total of six single crochet over here. Now the last stitch we're gonna work into is this chain three that we started with at the beginning of row one, and that counts as a double crochet. So we'll work our last single crochet into it for that total of six single crochet. Now to go on to row three, chain three, and turn. So again, this chain three is going to count as a double crochet. So what that means over here is we're going to skip this first stitch and move on to the next stitch. So we'll start working into this next stitch right here. And we are going to work half of a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And you should have two loops on your hook at this point. And we're going to complete this stitch with a front post treble crochet two rows below. So pick the double crochet that you're going to work around. It should be two rows below and in the middle. So ignore the first stitch because you have six. We need to only look at five. So it should be the fourth from the right or the third from the left, this middle one right here, ignoring the first double crochet there. Yarn over twice. And see your hook from front to back moving around the post of that double crochet. So you have that post in front. Yarn over, pull through that post. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You should have three loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those last three loops. Now we're going to need to look behind the stitch that we just created to move on to the next stitch because the stitch we need to work in is hiding behind. 
So look behind that treble crochet that you just made and find the next stitch, the next open stitch. And there you're going to work a double crochet. So work a double crochet into that hiding stitch back there. And then you're going to work two more double crochets into the next two stitches for a total of three double crochet. So there's our three double crochet. Now we're going to complete the V that we started before, but we're going to do it uh, in reverse this time. So we will start with the front post treble crochet and end with the double crochet. So we're going to make the other side of this V right here. So we're going to work around the same post even. So yarn over twice. Empty your hook from front and then around the post of this double crochet. It's the same post that you worked around last time. Yarn over, pull through that post. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops. Now you should have two loops left on your hook and we're going to end with the double crochet. So find the last stitch in this batch of six stitches. We're going to work into that single crochet. The last one before that chain one space. So insert your hook into that single crochet, yarn over, pull through loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you should have three loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all those three loops. So that section is complete. That's the hardest part of this pattern and you're going to repeat it across this row. So if you've got that, you've got it. So we're going to do the same thing over here in this batch of five and the same thing over here in this batch of six. So chain one, we're keeping that chain one gap going and then skip this chain one gap and start working into that next uh, single crochet. So we're going to work on the first half of the V. So that starts with the double crochet and ends with the front post triple crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first single crochet, yarn over, pull through loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now you should have two loops on your hook and then look for the middle double crochet, two rows below. It'll be easier to find on the group of five. Yarn over twice. Into your hook from front to back around the post of that double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that post. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops. And now you should have three loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now we're going to work the three double crochets in the single crochets in the row below. So reach behind this treble crochet that we just made and you got to peek back there so you can see your next stitch and work your double crochet there. So now we're going to work two more double crochet into the next two stitches. Now we're going to move on to the other half of our V. So we're going to start with the treble crochet portion of the stitch first and then end in this last uh, stitch here with the rest of our double crochet. So yarn over twice, reach back down to that post that you worked around before and work around making a front post and yarn over, pull through loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops. Now you should have two loops on your hook. Now we're going to finish with the double crochet in our last stitch here. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last single crochet in this grouping, yarn over, pull through loop, yarn over, Pull through two loops. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we just finished another section and we have another V. You can see that we have two Vs now. We're going to a chain one, skip this chain one space and move on to our last section. Now, if you had a longer row than me, you would just continue working your groups of uh, five stitches. But I'm at the end here with my last group of six. We're going to do what we've been doing. Yarn over and see your hook into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over twice. We're gonna find the middle double crochet, two rows below, and work a front post treble crochet there. Yarn over, pull through loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two more loops. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. 
So that's the first half of our V. Now we're going to peek behind and work our three double crochet into the next three single crochets in the row below. So there's one and two and three. So now we're going to finish off the last half of our V. You're going to start with the treble and end with the double crochet in the second to last stitch. So yarn over twice, go back to that last post that you just worked around, work around it again, yarn over, pull through that post, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops. Now you have two loops on the hook and we're going to finish this stitch out with a double crochet in the second to last single crochet in the row below. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now you have one stitch remaining and you're going to double crochet into that final remaining stitch. And that is row three completed. So that's what it should be looking like. You should have your V's. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to move on to row four, which is going to be a lot, well, it's identical to row two. So we're going to start by single crocheting into the next six stitches, chain one, moving on to your next section. So single crochet into the next five stitches, chain one, moving on to the next section. So now you'll single crochet into the next six stitches. We did this in row two. That's why I sped through it really fast. I just want to show you row five. So chain three and turn. Row five is super similar to row three. It just, uh, it looks a little di bit different while you're working it, so I wanted to show you. So we're gonna start with the first half of our V. So start by working your double crochet portion. When you have two stitches on the hook, yarn over twice, and then go look for that double crochet two rows below in the middle. So it'll, it should be in the middle of your V, and that's how you will know that it's it. And you will finish off the stitch there. So this is exactly like row three. It's just easier because you have the former V's to reference when you're finding that middle double crochet to work your as your post. So now I'm working those three double crochets into the next three single crochets and then I'll finish off that V starting with a treble crochet. Work around that same post that you did before. Yarn over, pull through that post. You never pull through two loops, you never pull through two more loops, and then finish it off with your double crochet in that last stitch of your section. So now you can see that we are working these V's over top of the previous V's, and it's going to look beautiful after you have a few rows. So for this stitch, you're repeating rows two and three until your project reaches your desired length. I am in love with this stitch. I think it looks great with weight three yarn, and I even have a project and works for it, but what will you make? Let me know in the comments. All Modern Made crochet and knitting patterns are for sale at modernmade.net. They are also available on Etsy at Modern Made Shop. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for bite-sized crochet and knitting content. And thank you so much. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you next time.